that healthcare up in Limpopo is getting a bit of a boost and it's good news of course for interns who have finally been placed. 525 healthcare professionals have been employed in the in Polikwane in the Capricorn district. It includes medical interns, clinical psychologists, pharmacists and also support staff. So to tell us about uh, this and just how many more we could expect, Limpopo Health MEC uh, Popi Ramatuba. MEC, good morning to you. Thanks very much for your time. So 525 more jobs uh, and uh, now training uh, interns coming in, going to boost the system. Uh, so tell me how we were able to get to uh, this point now. Where have we placed all of them? Uh, morning, Gareth, and morning to all your viewers out there. And, and thank you for giving us this opportunity. Yes, as, as a province, it, it has not been easy for us to can be able to, to find ourselves appointing uh, this number. But we want to appreciate the work that has been done between the Department of Health and also our provincial treasury and premier's office uh, in order to free money uh, in certain areas where expenditures, uh, uh, some uh, where we felt that we can do without, we've been able to make quite a number of savings. Uh, that is why you see ourselves where we are today. And also, what also boosts the, the, the intense, uh, uh, medical intense pl placement, uh, where we increase the number of posts, it, we have never uh, received such a huge number, over 200 uh, medical intense mm. in the province. This was as a result of, we've been able to upgrade uh, quite a number of our facilities, uh, appointment of many specialists in different uh, disciplines and you will remember when I started as an MEC, the province had more than 20 medical specialists. Today we can talk about almost 200 medical specialists in different disciplines. So that in its own has been able to allow the health professional council to expand the training for medical intents and the fact that we also for the first time in this country since 1994 have a medical school which is here in Limpopo. Uh, at the University of Limpopo, we've been able to produce our first group uh, last year. So even those who have been able to place them, they're able to do their internship in the province. And it's, and it's so going to make a huge been... difference, Dr. Omatuba, as, as well. I'm just curious to know, as impressive as the 524, 525 interns uh, is, uh, there's no such thing as too many good doctors, is there? Are there enough interns? Could you do with more in the province of Limpopo? Last question to you. We can still do more with with uh, uh, health professionals. Uh, as it is, you'll remember COVID-19 has exposed the Department of Health uh, nationally that we shortage of staff is a serious crisis. We've seen during COVID-19 how difficult the healthcare workers have been pulling uh, in, in all our facilities. So now when you produce more doctors in the country, when you produce more dentists, more pharmacists, more physiotherapists, it's the good for the nation. I remember when I was studying medicine, we used to produce between 600 and 800 uh, doctors annually. Today, we as a country, we are able to place more than 2,400 medical intents. So that tells you that the government is trying, we are at work, we are producing more, but the population is also growing. The burden of disease is also increasing. So challenges in the health are not stopping. That is why we must move with speed to catch up with the disease and the population. And 525 interns, I think, is going to go uh, a long way. And I'm sure we're going to be following their progress as we, of course, try and get more interns into every uh, province. But Limpopo seems to be heading in the right direction quite quickly. Uh, Limpopo MEC for Health, Dr. Popi Ramatuba. Good